How's it going today? Uh, Fireboy Reef here. So today I'm going to show you another uh, test from Sulphur. Um, it's a very easy test. It's like three steps. A lot of the tests are like four to five steps and there's one chart, none of this other mix and tests and other stuff. So what comes in the box here is we have a solution and we're going to be using four drops of the solution number 3-1 and we have the powder as well we're going to mix. Um, the other thing it comes with, it comes with uh, the color guide chart, you guys can see that right there. That's where we're going to put our test samples up against. Um, so I'm just going to put this to the side right now. So what I have for this testing is I saved some of my old aquarium water um, to test to show you guys how uh, the tests work against the chart. And then I have my uh, reef tank water right here right out of the sump to show you the chart. So I'm going to do two at the same time to show you the difference in the, the colors on the chart to show you guys. So I got my two vials here. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take your syringe and you got to fill it to the one mil mark. All right. So this one here is going to be the old tank water and this is going to be the new tank water. So I'm going to take the new, the old tank water, fill up to one, one milliliter. There, so you can see that it's filled to one milliliter, guys. I'm going to put that in this one. And then I got my other syringe here as well. It's uh, so I don't do no uh, cross contaminations of the water. So now I have my new tank water here that's out of my tank. So we're going to test my tank tonight, see what we're at. So we're going to fill this for the same one to the one millimeter mark. So it's going to take a little longer because I'm doing. I'm going to show you guys the two, two different uh, tests at the same time. So now this is the new tank water. So we put the one mil in there. So we're just going to put the syringe away. Keep those. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add. We're going to add the nano three dash one. We're going to add four drops to each of these. So let's count these out. All right. One, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. So that, that one's all done. That's the NO3-1, we'll put that away. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little scoop. We're gonna take our uh, NO3-2 and we're gonna take one scoop of that each. So you just put it in here and it says to rub it against the side to make evenly. So there we go, she's even, so there's one. And then one more for the other test subject. So this way you can see what dirty water and when your reef tank is really doing well. One each, so there we go. Put the cover back on that so we don't spill it. So now we're gonna take these and we have to stir them for 30 seconds each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so now what, now what we have to do when the instruction says we have to wait three minutes. So it's only three minutes, not like five minutes, 10 minutes, three minutes. So we're just gonna take a break and wait right, three so minutes. It's been three minutes. So now what we're gonna do is we gotta test uh, to our chart. So I'm gonna take the old aquarium water sample and show. try to see if I can show you guys what, uh, what you do not want in your tank. So. It has it goes from zero to a hundred uh, parts per million. So let's look, if you can try to look through here. I'll try to hold it so you guys can see it. See that? I'd say this old water. She's a hundred, eh? So that's definitely bad in the danger zone. Things aren't looking too good in your tank. All right. So let's grab my my tank water right now. The other test vial. This is I just took this tonight. So it's a lot clearer if you look through here. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. A little pink, so I, I think I'm about two between two, maybe two and five. I'm pretty sure it looks more like two. So that's a pretty simple test. That's that's all to do it. So if I'm saying if you're like in a hundred here and fifty, you better get some water changes going on because it's not looking good for your tank. Because uh invertebrates and stuff do not like uh nitrate in the tank very much. So that's a simple test. It took a little longer because I'm showing you two two different tests at the same time to show you the example between what a bad tank's looking like and a good tank. So my tank's doing all right tonight, so I'm pretty happy. Um, so I don't need to do any water changes right now, but if this is your tank, I definitely say, hey, time for a water change and check your uh, you know, your filters and everything, make sure everything's working fine. And so this is what you wanna look for, guys. All right, so that's the sulfur test. Sulfur test, the, the nitrate kit. It ended up, it costed me uh, $22.99 at my local fish store. You probably shop around and get a better deal. But that was a pretty good deal to that one. 
so that's what a, that's that's the test tonight the nitrate uh, test from sulfur um, it's pretty pretty simple test guys it's almost like three three uh, just three simple procedures so enjoyed this video um, I try to keep everything as simple as possible for you guys these these test kits I love them they're so simple there's no like two vials and you got to wait 10 minutes or anything like that just three minutes is pretty simple it's the, one of the easiest ones I've ever done and most accurate I've ever done. I've had great results. So I hope you guys are liking these videos. I'm trying to keep them really simple for you. And um, I'm loving the comments that are coming back. I enjoy talking to you guys, you know, like Pines8411 and Sean's Reef and Willie D, you know, Erica, all you guys. Really appreciate all the comments. Enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys like this video, please uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, please subscribe, and uh, we'll move on to the next video, guys. Have yourself a good night. Thanks. Bye.